hi guys in this video i'm going to show you how to bypass frp lock on all the latest motorola android 12 android 13 and many more and in this video i have with me motorola gene pure so in case you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe to this channel like this video and drop a comment now to get started you need to first of all connect a wi-fi network to the device and if you don't have a wi-fi network you can as well connect your mobile hotspot to the device and then we get started immediately Google account lock is a very common issue on Android phone and this is what happens when you forgot your password, your screen lock and you had to do a factory reset on the Android device. Eventually Google account lock is going to block you from getting access to the device. Okay, so right now we are going to verify and confirm that there is a google account lock on this device then we proceed to the next step and as you can see there is a google account lock on this device which means we cannot get access to the device unless we log into the previous google account lock that was sent to this device this process is completely free and you do not need a pc or a software to bypass this FRP lock. All you need to do is to pay attention and watch this video from the beginning to the end. Smash the subscribe button and then I will show you how to fix this. Number one step is to go back to the main menu. You can use the return button and go back to the main menu. And then you click on emergency call. Then you double click on the emergency information and then you tap on the pencil icon. Now click on the image on the left corner of your screen and tap on it again. Now choose an image. Tap and hold on photos. Then click on permissions. After that, then you click on the search icon on the right corner of your screen. Right now, we are going to search for apps. So type in APPS for apps. And then you select app info which is for apps and notifications and you tap on app info again this will redirect you to the app sections and then we click on the three dots at the right corner of the screen and then select show system apps now we have all the apps in place we are going to um, disable one or two apps so first of all we need to disable the android setup you click on the android setup then force stop and that's it then we go back Right now you need to scroll down and search for google play and google play store then you tap on the google play service force stop okay then disable the google play service 
and we go back now tap on google play store force stop then disable the google play store then we head back again you scroll down again and search for the final app now we are searching for the for the setup wizard And if you can't find the setup wizard, you go ahead and search for it on the search bar. You just type in setup. Seems like we can't find the setup wizard, but I'm going to deactivate the device setup. I think we're good here and uh, right now we need to head back to the main menu so you can use the return button and go all the way back to the main menu and then you click start skip accept and continue and allow the device to process looking for updates and you click the return button and this will redirect you back to the Wi-Fi section at this very moment we need to deactivate the Wi-Fi network so you can either turn off your Wi-Fi or you just go ahead and deactivate the Wi-Fi because what we are going to use right now is the skip button so you need to make sure that at this very moment your Wi-Fi connection is completely turned off. I just want to make sure that at this very moment you have your Wi-Fi turned off. As you can see, my phone, my device is not connected to Wi-Fi anymore. So just make sure that at this very moment your device is completely turned off there is no wi-fi connected to your device then you now we click next again tap on skip and then you go ahead and use the skip button on the left corner below your screen so tap on the skip and then continue without a network connection accept and continue so at this very moment you just allow the device to load and process for just some few seconds Guys, we are almost done with the bypass process we have disabled the google play store and the google play service and that is why the device is stuck on the processing so all we need to do is allow the device to process for just some few seconds and then we head back to the main menu and complete this process now click on the return button and go back to the main menu and on the main menu you click on emergency call double tap on emergency information click on the pencil icon then tap on the image on the left corner of your screen then tap on the image again and choose photos Now tap and hold on the photos, then click on permissions. Now on the right corner of the screen, then you search for apps again. Then tap on apps and notifications. Tap on the app info again. And this will redirect us to the app sections again. Finally, click on the three dots on the right corner of your screen and 
reset app preferences now when you reset the apps it's actually going to enable the google play store the google play service and every other apps that we have previously disabled then you click on the return button and head back to the main menu so this is the final method we have successfully bypassed the google account lock then all we need to do is just set up this device as if it was new so click on the skip button and continue as you can see even at this moment there is no wi-fi connected to the device so we do not need wi-fi anymore you just keep and continue without a wi-fi or network connection and here we are just click accept skip skip anyway accept and continue then done so guys that's it for this video we have successfully bypassed the google account lock on this motorola gene pure running on android 12 and this actually works as well for android 12 android 13 and many more if this video has been very helpful to you make sure you hit the subscribe button like this video share the video and drop a comment and i'll see you in the next video thank you guys for watching this video stay blessed this is rambo technology